Good afternoon everyone. This is Angela from Creative Crafting and this is the third Imagine video in the series on the beginner tutorials. Um, today what we're going to talk about is the RGB codes. That is really confusing. A lot of people don't understand it. But once you get comfortable with using it, it's not that difficult to figure out. Um, first of all, before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Crystal. Crystal sent me these stamps for being in her blog hop a while back and I just wanted to tell her thank you very much. That was so sweet of you to do that. Well, thank you, Crystal. Okay, now, on to the tutorial. Um, what I do for RGB codes, I'm going to show you on the Imagine where you go for RGB codes, but first I want to show you what they are. Um, I printed some out from a couple different sources. Um, this one is for Disney characters and you can see it shows you the skin types for let me get a little closer for Belle um, skin eyes hair um, additional Belle colors just for like her outfit different outfits and stuff and um, I got this from the scrapmaster.blogspot.com Samantha she's great with this stuff she did some she also did some for uh, Stampin' Up! colors, so if you want to print full pages of Stampin' Up! colors, if there's a retired color that you really liked, she did that also. Um, and then there's another one that I use all the time because it is so easy to use, and the colors are so close to what's on your paper. I got this one from Imagine critters.blogspot.com that's Tammy over there she did I believe it was Tammy that did this or maybe it was a couple different people but they went ahead and they put the RGB codes are right there that means red green and blue and what that tells you is when you make, combine them colors you can get custom colors for whatever you're doing so this one's from them and if I cannot find a color that I need for that then what I did is I went online and just typed in RGB codes and this gives you every color from ev from all the color families like everything you get the green blues the greens the grays there is just endless amount of colors that you can use for that so you can see they got all the oranges you can't see it that good there but that's that's kind of supposed to be a dark orange and peach and sandy brown chocolate colors. I love brown as you can tell from all my cards on my blog. They're brown and pink, most of them. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, but that's for another day. Well, I'll get there sometime, I suppose. So, without going through anything else, since I only have 15 minutes, I'm going to try to get through this fairly quickly. But if we have to do RGB codes in two videos, then then that's what we'll do. We'll do them in two videos. So I'm going to zoom in for you onto the Imagine so you can see everything up close. All right. I'll let you see the buttons that I push so you know where we're going. Um, first of all, let me get my stylus. And we're going to go to print and cut. I do not have a cartridge in here right now. So it, it's just going to be RGB codes, none that are related to a cartridge, just straight red, green, and blues. So if I go here, and then if I, you can choose anything to do it. Let's see. Alrighty, and we're going to add it. Okay. Then we hit next. And then that puts it on the mat. And then sometimes I like to go here from the mat and then click edit right there. And then now, these these are all the colors that come on the Imagine right here. These are all whatever colors. They're all base colors. Nothing is custom. Let me zoom in on that so you can see that. All right. None of these are custom colors. If you want to custom color, you need to go right here. And that's going to take you, it's going to say define color. And this right here, these are all the custom colors that I have created over time doing different projects. Um, these are just base colors. They're not related to a cartridge. They're not related to a project or anything. These are ones that I've created for. I did some for Winnie the Pooh because I couldn't find any. So I kind of just 
went through and just started experimenting. If it looked right, it looked right. Then I printed it out and then basically just saw what I got. So, um, it wasn't that bad. I'm trying to see where that card is somewhere around here. Um, anyway, so I'm going to stick an Imagine cartridge in there and then you can see also the different colors that comes with. There are different colors that come with a specific cartridge. So I'm going to insert the cartridge right here. I inserted Kate's Kitchen and it's going to load it and I know it's going to load it because the green light's on and now you've got your little hourglass telling you that it's getting ready. So if we went ahead and add, we'll just add this little girl here. We'll add her, right? And then we're going to edit her, okay? There we go. Thinking, okay, so these are, these are all the patterns that come with it. You cannot edit any patterns. You can't change any colors. You cannot do anything to the patterns. They're set by the artist, and they are what you see is what you get, and that's it. So if we keep going this way, these colors are attached to the cartridge. What that means is, is if you look at the back of your cartridge, right here, sorry, let me try to get that to, to focus for us, right there, okay, there we go. All of those colors, that tells you the color palette that's on this cartridge, and that is what you see all the way to the right. Anything to the left are base colors. And these colors, you cannot change either. You cannot change anything until you go into that custom color area. So that's what we're going to go look at right now. So if I pick the layers, we'll choose layers right there. Okay, and then we're going to click apply. All right, I hope my hand's not in your way too much. Okay, so um, let's just take the little mat since there's nothing, nothing that we can really mess up by just looking at it. So if I click here, then, then we'll get the different pattern for that particular item. But if we go here, then that's gonna take us to our custom colors. So if I take my little sheet here, I call it my little cheat sheet. I have about four of these printed out. So um, what I normally do is, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. All right, now, these are all the yellows, and normally when you print out your RGB codes, it goes from light to dark, usually, almost always. All right, so, let's see, what color should we go to? Um, I think we'll go for a blue. So, these are kind of related to Disney characters, if you look at the names. Um, Jasmine's Gems, and Blustery Day, that's Winnie the Pooh. Um, since my daughter, lo my daughter Caitlin loves Winnie the Pooh, I will pick Heffalump Purple. And you see the number, 193, where we at? 193, 201, and 237. What we're going to do, we're going to input those numbers into the red, green, and blue spots. And it should give us a color very close to that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty. And just so you know, you have to scroll. You can't just automatically go in there and put the number in. Just in case anyone had that question. So you just go here, go to 193. And a lot of times what you can do that I do to cheat to do it a little faster, if you come over here to a lighter color, it takes you, you see the number changed. If we go back this way, it takes a higher, the number higher. The closer you get to a darker red, it takes you to a higher number. So if we go back over here, then we're at 57. So we can get pretty close to where we want to be so we don't have to scroll too much. So we're going to go to 193. Oops, went one too many. All right, 193, and our next number is 201. So we're just going to scroll down from here to 201. And it moves pretty fast, so it doesn't take a lot of time at all to do this. Okay, 201, and then we're going to go to 237 which is a scroll down and you can see the direction it's moving more away from the blue into more of like a yellow green color. So we're going to go to 37. Okay, there's 237. So now what it's done is it picks a color, the first custom color. If you just start changing numbers, it's going to take the first custom color that you have and start editing that one. So that's exactly what it did. So let's look at it. 
So this is our custom color. We'll click apply and you see this is the color it came up with and here's our color on our sheet. And it is the Heffalump Purple and you can see it's really, really close. It, it depends on your printer when you print your colors, but it's very close and it prints really close to what you see on your screen. So you can just tweak it a little bit and say if, if I went in there and I do this a lot, oh, well that color, that's a little too purple for me, maybe, I would think. So I will go in here and then you can go back, hit cancel, and then we'll go in here, edit, and then go back to our custom colors and our custom color is still there. It does not erase it, it stays there. So I, I maybe I wanna add a little bit more red to it. So let's just, the higher you go up, you can see it made it go a little bit lighter. Just change the color a little bit. You can change this, you can just go a little bit different. Just a little bit different and it goes more purple. You can just move the colors around and we'll hit apply so you can see what it looks like. And then so now it's more purple. So it depends what you want to change. Once you start messing with the colors, you can see which direction it's going to take your color. So that way you can pick and choose for any items. And this, this is so good when you're using a classic cartridge. If you're using a classic cartridge, you can make those colors any color you want. If you have, you get your paper together and you decide, oh, I want to match this really close to my paper, then that's what you can do with these RGB codes. It's, it seems more difficult right now to use, but it's not. Once you get into using it, it's really, really easy. So you just match it to your paper, and that's it. Um, I wanted to show you another sheet um, of different RGB codes. Let's see here. Okay, here's the, the one Stampin' Up. So... A lot of us use Stampin' Up! paper, and these are colors that might be retired, and then you get your RGB codes, and you can match them pretty close. And if you put it in on there, and it doesn't match exactly what you think it should look like, you can just tweak it a little bit. Just start moving colors around. Start, if you know that it's more towards a pink color, start messing with the red. If it's more towards a green color, start messing with the green and the blue. And just, you will get there. It just takes time and practice to get these codes where you want them to go. But it's actually a lot of fun learning it. Um, and I think that's going to be it for this video. It was just, just a, supposed to be quicker, but... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a comment under this post. And then also, if you want to see anything else in the next video or you have any more questions about the RGB codes, put them down there and I'll try to answer them on the post or, or with the next video. So I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I'll have it up within a week just like I did this one. Thank you. Bye.